These days, everybody is under pressure enough to turn coal into diamonds to look good. But none know that pressure more than celebrities. Their every wrinkle is obsessed over. But while some celebs have spent a fortune keeping themselves looking young, some have gone the other direction, letting the years do their thing. These are the ones who went from diamonds to coal. These are famous people who seriously let themselves go. Number 15. Brendan Fraser Shock Horror Someone in their 50s doesn't look the same as they did when they were in their 20s. Fortunately, even though Brendan Fraser isn't the chiseled hunk we remember him as in his role on George of the Jungle in 1997, most people are defending him, and now he's almost unrecognizable. The man has had an extremely rough time of it, and we don't blame him for putting on a few pounds and looking his age. Remember, a lot of time has passed since that hit film. Brendan married Afton Smith in 1998, and the pair had three sons. In 2007, they filed for divorce, but it wasn't exactly smooth sailing. In 2013, he went back to court to ask for a reduction in alimony. He said he was unable to afford $900,000 a year for spousal support. From this, his ex-wife accused him of hiding assets. If that wasn't bad enough, he was assaulted by the Hollywood Foreign Press Association president, Philip Burke. From divorce to assault, he spiraled into depression. He then had to receive multiple surgeries for injuries sustained during his stunts performed early in his career. His dramatic change in appearance made him the butt of many jokes obviously didn't help matters. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Russell Crowe you might think that actors have it easy. They get to pretend to be someone else all day, then be paid handsomely for the privilege. But if you think about it, there's a lot more to it. To get into character, you've often got to undertake massive physical and mental changes. Russell Crowe is proof of that. We're so used to seeing him as a buff, sexy gladiator that it can be quite a shock to see him portraying an older man with a dad bod. I think I was very passionate with Ron describing why it was important. He had to pile on the pounds for the movie called Unhinged, in which Russell Crowe plays a psychotic man out for revenge. Sure, he could have put on a bodysuit, but it's far more realistic if he put the weight on himself. He is almost unrecognizable, but it goes to show the crazy talent he has to transform himself into an entirely different person. In saying that, it pays to focus more on his role than his weight, and Russell is tired of the focus being entirely on how many pounds he's put on. He says it's part of his job and that he'll get back to his desired weight eventually, but he also said he'd like to tell people to mind their own business and that he's in no rush. Number 13. Leonardo DiCaprio There's almost nothing Leonardo DiCaprio can't do. He's a talented actor who can go from playing a heartthrob on a sinking boat to a racist in a western film. His versatility means that he has to change how he looks quite a lot. You never know what you're gonna get when you see him on the big screen. I'll lay your palm flat on that tabletop! If you lift those palms off that turtle shell tabletop. So when he was spotted on a beach break in Miami in 2014, many people were shocked. He looked a lot different and softer around the edges than many people were used to. He also had a lot of extra facial hair, including a beard, that we're not used to seeing. You may even go so far as to say he looked a little disheveled, but give the man a break. He deserves time to relax and be himself without being judged for it. What's more, he appeared to be having a good time with friends soaking up the rays on an idyllic beach. You can almost guarantee that he was fighting fit by the time his next movie appearance rolled around. Number 12. Jaden Smith being in the spotlight when you're an adult can be hard enough, but it can be even more so when you're young, impressionable, and feel the weight of the world on your shoulders. Fortunately, Jaden Smith has a caring family who noticed something was wrong with their son. 
Jada and Will Smith, Jaden's parents, spoke about what they noticed with Jaden in Jada's Facebook Watch series called Red Table Talk. She said they held an intervention of sorts for Jaden, who didn't appear to be himself. He had lost a lot of weight, had bags under his eyes, and had a grayish tone to his skin. They said he had gone vegan and they didn't think he was getting all the nutrients and protein he needed to stay healthy. Jada said he was wasting away, looked drained, and was depleted. They were nervous. Jaden corrected his parents and said he was vegetarian, not vegan. He had tried to be vegan but preferred the vegetarian lifestyle. He said he was eating only one or two meals per day. Now though, he's looking more like himself. Number 11. Macaulay Culkin Not too many people won't know the name Macaulay Culkin. He was a child star known for his roles in Home Alone, My Girl, and Richie Rich, just to name a few. But being a child star robbed Macaulay of an opportunity to have an everyday life. As he took a break from Hollywood, his drastic transformation became immediately apparent. He went from a child with a youthful glow to an almost 40-year-old looking frail and gaunt and being arrested for possession of a controlled substance without a prescription. I didn't even realize it till recently and there it is, the little thing. The downward spiral came after his parents divorced and his mother filed for full custody of him and his six brothers and sisters. According to sources, he has been estranged from his dad ever since. At 15, he also removed his parents' names from his trust fund to stop anyone wanting to stick their pinky in the pie. When he was a child, they were said to have pocketed 15% of his paychecks. He also got into recreational drug use, but said he was never pounding six grand of heroin a month, as some sources suggested. Fortunately, Macaulay is looking much healthier these days than he did back in 2012, around the time he was not living his best life. Number 10. Lindsay Lohan Lindsay Lohan is well known for her roles in Herbie, Freaky Friday, The Parent Trap, and Mean Girls. She quickly shot to fame, and from the age of 10 was destined for a life in the spotlight. But that can take its toll, as Lindsay found out later on. It all started going a little haywire for Lindsay in 2007. She was convicted of drunk driving not once, but twice. Not to mention being convicted once for cocaine use and then spending 84 minutes in jail. From that point onwards, she couldn't catch a break from the press, who were always out to see if she would stuff up again. I don't know, I think everybody, you know, has their own path in life. and. We all go through ups and downs in life. She checked into a rehab facility, which many people thought was for alcohol and drug abuse. In reality, it was to help her deal with the nightmares she was experiencing after shooting the 2007 film, I Know Who Killed Me. Since then, though, she has had to fend off inaccurate reports about what she's been up to. She said she's not a cocaine addict, only having tried it a handful of times. She also said she's not a junkie, even though she has had a problem with drugs in past years. Number 9. Matthew Perry Matthew Perry shot to fame on the hit series Friends in the 1990s. But with fame comes a little bit of pressure, and some people turn to drugs to manage that pressure. Matthew was one such person. He managed to hide his problem from his co-stars like Courtney Cox and Jennifer Aniston, but then it became apparent he had a problem. In 1997, he entered rehab for a Vicodin addiction and lost a significant amount of weight. By 2001, he had gone back to rehab for alcohol, Vicodin, methadone, and amphetamines treatment. He's thankful, though, that he never got into heroin. Otherwise, he believes he wouldn't be here today. These days, though, Matthew is free of many of his habits. In saying that, he was spotted at an LA airport looking a little bit rounder in the face than many people remember. He also looked like he was quite tired after a long flight. At 43 years old then, the Daily Mail reported that he had won his fight with booze and drugs but was fighting with the scale. Harsh, Daily Mail. Harsh. Number 8. Diego Maradona 
Diego Maradona was one of the greatest football players ever to hit the world stage. But with that fame came the constant pressure of being at his best. Eventually, he became worn down by his fame and couldn't go anywhere without being hounded by the media. He ended up being addicted to cocaine, other drugs, alcohol, and sex. From that point on, things went from bad to worse for Diego. He was charged with cocaine possession, then cocaine was found in his blood, and he was given a 15-month ban from his favorite sport. <coughs> Then, after fleeing Italy for Argentina, he was arrested for cocaine possession. Essentially, he had gone from arriving in Italy bright-eyed and bushy-tailed to leaving a broken and damaged man. In 1994, he returned for Argentina's 1994 World Cup, but failed a drug test for a performance-enhancing drug. After his football career was over, he ended up being appointed as the coach for a struggling team. Diego, who was easily one of the greatest players of all time and was one of two winners of the FIFA Players of the 20th Century Award, died on November 25th, 2020 of a heart attack. He had, just days previously, received treatment for a subdural hematoma. Number 7. Robert Downey Jr. It's hard to believe that Robert Downey Jr. could be someone who seriously let themselves go. After all, you've seen his astounding performances in blockbuster films like The Avengers. But believe it or not, Robert has battled with drug and alcohol abuse, so much so that it actually landed him in prison. He was almost unhirable. He initially made a name for himself in the 1980s, where he starred in films like The Pickup Artist and Less Than Zero. Oddly enough, he played a rich kid who ended up going off the rails with heroin addiction, and his life ended up quite similar. In 1996, he was arrested for cocaine and heroin possession. He was in and out of jail multiple times for drug offenses after that. In one quite severe incident, Robert even woke up in a neighbor's house after passing out in a bed. He then missed several court-ordered drug tests and was sentenced to three years in jail in 1999. He ended up serving 12 months in a a substance abuse treatment facility and state prison. After his wife gave him an ultimatum, he quit drugs in 2003. He credits his sobriety to the 12-step program, meditation, therapy, and yoga. Number 6. Axel Rose for many years, Axl Rose was the face you would see pinned up around the bedrooms of young Guns N' Roses fans. In recent years, though, he looks far different than what he used to at the peak of his performing years. In 2011, the then 49-year-old performed at the Rock in Rio Music Festival, looking far more full than he once did. If you compare his body even to that of his appearance at the 2006 MTV Video Music Awards, he definitely looks a lot different than he used to. And saying that, he might have put on a few pounds, but he still has a whole lot of talent. He managed to bang out some of their classic tracks like Live and Let Die, Welcome to the Jungle, and Sweet Child of Mine. But he didn't do a lot of running around as you would be used to seeing. But that wasn't because of his extra weight, he was working that moving around too much would prove to be quite treacherous because of the pouring rain. He said he would prefer to focus on his singing rather than falling on his bottom. Number 5. Vin Diesel Looking a little bit softer around the edges than we're used to was Vin Diesel back in 2015 as he relaxed on the balcony of his hotel in Miami. We're so accustomed to seeing him with ripped abs that we forget that without regular training, that can all change. Instead of a six-pack and muscly arms, he was wearing boxers with a slightly rounder stomach than we're used to seeing. Bear in mind, though, that he wasn't doing any filming at the time. Instead, he was on the hunt for a director for the eighth movie in the Fast and Furious franchise. You wouldn't have thought this, but... Now we do have Oscar. At that time, he was also planning on doing three more Fast and Furious movies, then calling it a day. At that time, Vin Diesel had also posted on Facebook about how accommodating and trusting Universal had been of his vision. He had promised to deliver a final trilogy, but it was taking some time to find the perfect director, given how picky he said he was being. So you can forgive Vin for not looking movie ready. After all, there was still so much time until he needed to be. 
Number 4. Kelly Clarkson The media and tabloids have been incredibly harsh about Kelly Clarkson over the last decade or so. In fact, it seems that every time she gains weight, then loses it, they attack her like a pack of vultures. It's true that Kelly has put on weight, then she loses it and puts it back on again. But how is that anyone else's concern? She had an eating disorder as a teen that saw her become super skinny, hoping that it would allow her to get better parts in musicals. She was later diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder and thyroid issue that resulted in body changes affecting her weight. However, in recent years, she has embarked on a new diet from The Plant Paradox, which has made her feel better about herself and her body. In saying that, she doesn't let other people's opinions about her body get her down. She said it's her body, not theirs, and when someone tweeted, you're fat, she responded with, and still awesome. Kelly doesn't get caught up in the fact that she doesn't have a fast metabolism and isn't always at her ideal weight. Number 3. Johnny Depp you don't have to be very observant to realize that Johnny Depp is looking a lot different than he used to, but no one's actually sure why that is. I love you too. Were you just over there? It was quick. Um. Well, no fans know for sure, at least. He probably has his own ideas. But there are plenty of rumors out there about why he appears so gaunt and frail these days. Some people think that drug abuse might be involved. These rumors came about after former bodyguards sued him for an intolerable two-year stint in his service. They say that some of their jobs involved alerting him to illegal substances on his face to stop people from noticing his condition. Others believe his financial woes are taking their toll. He reached a crisis point with his spending in 2012 when his bills reached around $2 million. He had a staff of 40 to pay, $350,000 a month in maintenance costs of his yacht, and child support for his children, Jack and Lily Rose, not to mention some crazy spending. Spending. But then, there are the reports of excessive drinking and the saga with his ex-wife, Amber Heard. The man is under a lot of pressure in his private life, and this surely takes its toll. Number 2. Nicole Eggert the media can be awful, and we mean awful. Take Nicole Eggert, for example. Sure, she's put on a few extra pounds in recent years, but if you've dealt with what she's had to deal with, you wouldn't blame her. And you know, real women gain weight. Thank you. Nicole used to play the role of lifeguard Summer Quinn in Baywatch. She had a toned, tanned physique and was surely pinned up on many walls around the world. But a lot can happen over the years, and Nicole does look a lot different than when she played that role from 1992 to 1994. Roll the clock forward and now she's over 40 years old. She has publicly battled with her weight and took part in the 2010 weight loss show Celebrity Fit Club after gaining around 30 pounds when her dad died. She lost over a stone and released a DVD called Nicole Eggert's 21 Day Red Hot Bikini Body Makeover. After giving birth to her second child, she put on a bit of weight but has worked hard to slim down. She goes on hikes with her baby strapped to her body in a carrier. She also has personal training sessions. Number 1. Yasmin Bleeth you may not know the name Yasmin Bleeth right away. Even seeing a picture of her today, she may not ring any bells. But back in the 1990s, Yasmin was co-star to David Hasselhoff and Pamela Anderson on Baywatch. Hi! Does Stephanie know you're here? No. Now in her 50s, she looks a lot different than she once did. Perhaps it's due to the fact that she now has a life mostly out of the limelight, which probably suits her a lot better. Early on in life, she had struggled with cocaine addiction and was arrested for cocaine possession, even after entering rehab. She lost a lot of weight and was 110 pounds and a size zero. Her weight gain and general differences in her appearance in recent years has put her back into the spotlight, which isn't exactly fair. After Baywatch ended, she appeared in other TV series like Nash Bridges and Titans before staying away from the showbiz industry. Today, she lives a much simpler life. Even if the tabloids keep trying to thrust her back into the limelight to show off her differences from back then to today. 
celebrities are people just like us. They put on weight, lose it, look a little worse for wear, then get themselves back together. They aren't superhumans, as much as we like to hold them in that regard. But in saying that, which transformation shocked you the most? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!